Bootstrap versus WordPress. So the question is Bootstrap versus WordPress. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, before I answer this question here, what's better, Bootstrap or WordPress? Now, these are completely two different things. They are used for completely two different things. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and ask, ask this question here is because there's a lot of misconception that you constantly have to be using uh, WordPress or you constantly have to be using Bootstrap. So if you're using Bootstrap, you must be using some sort of uh, backend language or some sort of JavaScript to make uh, you know, a, a website with Bootstrap. And WordPress kind of does the same thing. It goes ahead and generates a website for you, but it goes ahead and manages it with the content management system, so CMS. And the reason why I wanted to answer this question specifically was because there is this misconception as far as, you know, if you are using WordPress, you have to be using Bootstrap, or if you're using Bootstrap, why in the world are you using WordPress? And the reason why this is a misconception is because most of the time people, they tell you they want to go ahead and have a site. They want to tell you they want to go ahead and create something, right? and they go ahead and use WordPress and off, away they go. Or sometimes like programmers typically, they like to overkill it and go with Bootstrap and hand code everything manually, which again, it's an overkill. If you're just gonna be using a, if you just need a blog, a portfolio, a, a static site, something that's not gonna be changing all the time. I mean, by far WordPress is the easiest way to do it, especially if you're gonna have other team, team members or teammates actually contributing back content into the site. WordPress, hands down, uh, role management, everything from content management to uh, kicking people out, you know, allowing new users to come into the system, forgetting passwords. I mean, WordPress pretty much does it all. And if it doesn't do it, there's probably a plugin out there that could go ahead and do it for you. So if you're coming at it from a more of a, like, I want to see if my idea has some ground, I would go with um, Bootstrap and create something in that in that space. So as far as like prototyping, getting something out the door. But if you just want, uh, static basic site that you're only going to be obtaining once in a while so this thing includes like your portfolio includes things like um you know a brochure site this includes things like a static site it's not going to be changing a blog if you want to have a blog it's going to be uh blogs are regularly updating but most of the time they're not and the reason why you would want to go with wordpress is so you can have that consistency of having that content that you can actually go in there and go ahead and make changes when you need to so that's gonna do it. If you wanna go ahead and use Bootstrap, you can. If you wanna go ahead and get something out the door relatively fast, if you wanna prototype something, if you wanna go ahead and get something done, Bootstrap, go with it. If you wanna go ahead and create a portfolio, if you wanna go ahead and create something that's not gonna be changing all the time, a blog, that type of deal, go with WordPress, it will take care of all the updates for you. You don't have to do anything of that. You just pretty much install it and you get to writing your content. And that's the most important thing. You don't wanna be mucking around with tech especially if you just want to go ahead and get your site up. WordPress, easily the fastest, easiest way to get it done.